On July 18, 2023, Russia unveiled an experimental batch of self-propelled mortar named, DROK. This artillery system, designed and manufactured by Russia's defense industry complex, Rostik, promises enhanced mobility and responsiveness compared to traditional mortar teams. The first batch of these advanced self-propelled mortar has been officially handed over to the Russian military for extensive testing. The new weapon system is based on the platform of the armored vehicle Typhoon specifically, the K-4386 Typhoon VDV, allowing it to conduct firing operations without requiring soldiers to exit the vehicle, ensuring greater safety on the battlefield. The project's timeline has seen various stages of development, with initial plans for the state trials of the 2S41 DROC, scheduled for 2019. Following further advancements, mass production was initially planned for 2021 or later. The self-propelled howitzer 2S41 DROC features a turret equipped with an integrated 82mm mortar module. In addition to its firepower, the vehicle is equipped with motorized aiming mechanisms and a fire control system, simplifying operational tasks for the crew. The self-propelled howitzer comes equipped with a remote-controlled combat module, featuring a 360-degree rotating 7.62mm machine gun and an optoelectronic sight. It incorporates a 2B24 mortar, though it still requires a qualified team of five personnel to operate effectively. The 2B24 boasts an impressive maximum firing range of at least 6,000 meters with the 3-0-20-6 bomb, ensuring engagement capabilities at considerable distances. Additionally, it has a minimum firing range of no more than 100 meters, providing effective close-range capabilities. This mortar demonstrates a rapid firing rate, delivering up to 20 rounds per minute. The 2B24 offers a traverse of plus or minus 4 degrees on its bipod. However, its versatility extends to the ability to make a full 360-degree rotation by moving the bipod, ensuring comprehensive coverage of the surrounding area. The mortar can be adjusted to elevate between 45 and 85 degrees. As DROC enters its testing phase, military analysts and global defense observers eagerly await the performance results, anticipating that this self-propelled howitzer could potentially reshape the dynamics of modern warfare.